Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a game called SMS. Now, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I have no idea what this is all about. I don't even understand what SMS means. I know it has something to do with text messages, so maybe it means send me something. We're gonna figure out what it's all about right now. If you guys cool that you down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go. Yeah, it's crazy. I have no idea what SMS means. It could mean suck me silly, um, short men, suck i don't know short men don't suck okay shout out to all my short kings out there and my short queens i'm just trying to figure out what sms means it could mean um sorry my i don't know sorry my shit stinks uh, smss i don't know but let's just do this all right let me do this before i just make a whole ass out of myself but here we go everybody we just started sms your girl is about to send me a text hello my love it's late and I need to go. Okay, honey. I loved spending a few hours with you. The movie was horrible, but I loved being with you too. You could sleep here tonight. Tomorrow I'll drive you home. Nice try, my dear. But my parents would kill me. I must go now. Okay, take care, my love. Basically, she just said, you have no chance of me staying here tonight. You know what I'm saying? You know what I did there? <laughs> Let me stop. Don't worry. My house is on the back street. As soon as I arrive, I'll send you a message. I love you, baby. Say it back. Say it back, baby. Wow, she didn't even say it back. Fake girlfriend, dude. Faker than my dad's big ass boobs. Okay, so this is our neighborhood. She didn't even want to sleep over, so I guess our relationship is not that serious. We're not about to take it to that next level, she said. We're just casually dating, and no wonder. Look at this bed. Look at this freaking $5 bed sheet. She wants that silk type stuff. She want to be spoiled with flower petals and... Hello. Why does this bed look better than my bed, though? Unless that is my bed. And then this is the guest bed. Let me stop thinking about beds. Let me, uh, see the message I got. So, Katie said... My love, shall we watch a movie today? I'm assuming this is earlier. And then Fuckboy Chance said, Let's go, darling. Tonight at my house. Deal, but I need to leave at 11 p.m. My parents are mad at me. Okay, honey. I'll wait for you here. I'm missing you. What are we going to say? Katie, you just left here. Eh. You're supposed to say, I miss you more, baby. But this guy has no game. That's why she didn't even want to spend a few hours more. And no more response? Okay, let me look at Brad's messages. He said, Hey, dude. Want to go out tonight? Drink some? Today I can't, brother. Katie will come to the house. Shit, bro. You became a slave to this girl. I love her, man. You're my friend. And you should understand. You know, man, I'm going to go and have fun. See you later, brother. I'm assuming that our friend is a little jelly beans. A little jelly belly. But, all right. With these games, with these 616 games, I never know what to do. I honestly don't. I guess you just, like, do random things, and then you wait for things to happen. That is the moral of the story. So, Katie said... Oh, what? There's freaking more text messages and she's already tied up? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Katie, you just left here. Someone said, Katie, no, she's busy. Are you kidding me? Do you love your girlfriend? Who's there? What did you do with my girlfriend? And then apparently that's what they did to my girlfriend. Please don't hurt her. What do you want? All right, let's wait for the person who got Katie's phone and apparently her password to respond. They said, I don't want to hurt her, but I need you to do some things for me. I'll do whatever you want. Just don't do anything with Katie. What about Brad? Is Brad still out? You know what? No, no, no. We need to be a good boyfriend and we need to save Katie, all right? So let's see what this person said. Bro, still typing. Wow. Um, okay. I mean, we, I guess we have all day. Like, bro typing his freaking titties off. Let me just go back in the house. Maybe I just have to wait? Maybe it's a long paragraph message. Let's see what we got over here. Nothing. No wonder she said the movie was boring. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? We got light switches for you bitches. Let me see if there's anything in the refrigerator. Can't even open it. Typical, typical. What about over here? What's inside the garage? Oh, man. My serial killer van. That's cute. That's hot. And duct tape? Wait a minute. Wait a second. I'll bring you information about your first task soon. Don't use the phone or she dies. I already said that I will do what you ask. Chance, calm down with the attitude. Jeez. You must not really care about your girlfriend because you should do whatever it takes to get them back. Shit. 
I can't let him hurt her. I have to do what he wants. How do you know that he's a he? Why are you assuming things? You know what? It's probably a he. Probably a he he. I sent a uh, whoa to your house. I want you to kill her. Kill her? Why? No questions. In your garage, there's a gift to help you. All right. This man already broke into my house and left me a freaking gift. What is it? Is it the duct tape? It is that. An axe. Damn it. <laughs> Why is this dude so disappointed with an axe? I mean, it is a bloody way. It's a bloody hell, mate. And somebody's already here. All right. So, hello, Rose. Hi, honey. Do you want to have fun tonight? Oh, yes. Let's have lots of fun. This man seems really excited to kill this lady. I don't know if I trust this man. I charge $350 an hour. God damn. I guarantee it will be worth it. Okay, no problem. Wait for me in the room. I left my wallet in the garage. Don't delay. Time is ticking. Wow, 350 an hour? You already killed me. Good lord. All right, let me get the main door for you. I, um, how do I use the axe? Do I already have the axe? Hold on. Lady? How do I use the axe? Hold on. Um, this is awkward. I, I swear this never happens. Give me one second, Rose. Sorry. Oh, there you go. I need to do this. Come on. Courage. He was talking like he wanted to do it when he went to the door. He was all smiles, cheesing and everything. He looked like he was sponsored by Colgate with those freaking teeth shining so hard. Oh my god! What the heck? This man said don't use the phone, but you could have sneakily used the phone. I'm just saying. I feel like you wanted to do that, and for that, you're going to hell. I'm pretty sure you're gonna go to hell, and I kind of want your girlfriend to break up with you, to be honest. All right, let's see what the person who kidnapped Katie said. You'd make a great psychopath. You know how to use an axe. I did what you asked. Please, release my girlfriend. Something tells me it's not gonna be that simple. We're not done yet. I need you to do one more thing for me. I killed a person. What else do you want from me? Can somebody just give me an Oscar already? For now, I'll clean up the mess you made. After that, I'll send you another message. If you hurt Katie, I swear I'll kill you. Okay. Like, you know where that person lives. But yeah, let me clean up this mess. YouTube is going to spank me and give me 40 lashes if I show this. So let's just get it done, and then we'll just assume that we did it, okay? Oh, we got a new message. It said, good job. If it continues like this, your girlfriend will stay alive. What else do you want from me? Please, I already did what you asked. I'm almost done. Are you ready for the next step? Let's get on with it. I just want my girlfriend safe. Get in your van and drive to the cemetery fast. Cemetery? You are crazy. I'm assuming that we're gonna bury this body or we're gonna meet somebody at the cemetery that is working with this random person that kidnapped my girlfriend. Which is so freaking random, by the way. We were just enjoying a shitty movie, a date night at home, and then this man just kidnaps my girlfriend and wants me to do all these freaking things. Something's not adding up. Maybe this dude was already like this. Or maybe he doesn't have a girlfriend. I don't know. I smell a plot twist over here. But let me take out the body. I guess I already took out the body. And am I meeting somebody here? Hello? What the hell am I doing over here? This is a freaking... Uh-oh. Do I have to go to this random ass grave? Yes? No? Okay. What the hell do I do? Do I go inside the church and confess my sins? Oh, there we go. You got there fast. We're almost done. I'm doing everything you're asking. Let my girlfriend go. When we're done, you two will be free. What do you want me to do now? Get the body in the van and place it next to the open grave. You son of a mother pinche pendejo. I was already going to grab the freaking body from the van, but your dumbass texts like an 80-year-old grandma. <laughs> stop talking shit i guess i just can't stop talking shit everybody that's my fault i apologize for that why is it so freaking dark there's always flies in 616 games they always make a freaking cameo in these games so here we go let's put it inside the unmarked grave or was it the open grave it was open grave right yeah the open grave okay where do i put you hold on give me a second there we go Oh, now it's starting to rain. I don't even know why I said it like that. Okay. Get the body in the van. Oh, thanks for your help. I've done what you asked. Now let my girlfriend go. Yeah, let my girlfriend go, dude. Please. 
Pretty freaking please. Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? Sorry, Chance. I had to do this. I'm almost done. Girlfriend? I lost my wife one year ago. She was so beautiful. So young. Dude looking like the stinky cheese man. I thought I would never see her again. I tried to die a few times, but I found a way to bring her back. You and your girlfriend are helping me. So we're just random people. This was literally by chance. I found an ancient ritual that could transfer a dead person's soul into a new body, but I would need a dead person as an offering and a living woman to be the cocoon. All right. Thanks, Chance. Your help was extremely important. Can you freaking get that butter knife out of my face and let me and my girlfriend go? She has like no emotion right now. I think she's so pissed off at me. I have a lot of explaining. Oh, crawl. Okay, I was gonna say, I have a lot of explaining to do. When me and Katie get home, there's that axe though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I think I know what's going on. Let me see if I can get that freaking axe. My hands aren't tied behind my back. I guess not. Okay, we got the axe though. And it's time for some Mortal Kombat style fighting. Oh shit, what the bitch? Oh, 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 you like that? You like that, son of a bitch? Oh, that's what you get for jump scaring me with that cheap shit. Yeah. Bop, bop, oh, come on. Bro, how many hits? Bro, this man got the greatest hits. What is this? This is so freaking random. He just teleported everywhere. So I guess the magic is real. Through the freaking magician. Uh, I don't I don't get it. Like if this dude can perform magic, why is he still alive? Never mind, he's not alive. Son of a bitch. I'll take you home, my love. But first, let me overkill this asshole. There you go. Making sure he's not an SMS part two. And let's go home, baby. Let's go, honey. I'll take you home. We're fine. She alive? She's like saying nothing. She's giving me the silent treatment. Is this our first fight? Oh my gosh, baby, this is our first fight. All right, let's try home. Let's figure this out. Can we at least untie her before we take her home? Like, goodness gracious, this dude really is a horrible boyfriend. I hate him. I hate his whole vibe. I hate his whole aura and personality. And really? Oh, she's untied now. All right, cool. So where do I put her? Lady? I mean, wait, bed. There you go. This is our bed. Cool. So this was the master bedroom. And we have that picture that we can look at all day. I love it. How romantic. Katie? Are you really mad at me? What is going on? Uh-oh. What? What is happening? What the heck? Uh... Whoa! Katie? Dear? What are you doing? Katie? Katie? No. She's not here anymore. Oh, wow. I guess the ritual did work in a very bizarre way. So the dead person's soul went into Katie or the killer's soul went into Katie. And then the spell got a little mixed up. Either way, that was an ending I didn't really expect, I guess. All right, everybody. I'm sorry that game was so short. That's the only game I have on the menu today. Hopefully, you all had fun anyway. If you did, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.